This is Twit. We have a couple. I want to go to the email bag. That's another way you can reach us. We'd love to get recordings, audio or video. Keep them under a minute so you can ask your questions that way. The email is askthetechguys at twit.tv. Uh, but we have already got some emails. And I have one from Lynn that I thought was quite good. She says, uh, now that I'll be moving from LastPass to Bitwarden, help me understand how something open source that everybody can get into uh, to nose around is more secure than non-open source software. That's actually a really, a really, good, really good question. question. Um, so, but I want to take a step back because she's moving away from LastPass. So I want to talk a little bit about LastPass and then why Bitwarden, which is a sponsor, mm -hmm. uh, and other open source software is actually safer, in my opinion, uh, than closed source software, especially uh, for cryptography and, and, and password management is kind of in that realm because it's very easy to do crypto wrong. But when something is open source crypto, a lot of eyes are looking at it, and it's much more likely that the cryptography is done properly. Mm -hmm. Never, in my opinion, trust cryptography. That's you know the scrambling of data that isn't open source. You just don't know what they've done. And there's so much pressure on companies now to give the government, uh, hand the keys over to the government. You just can't trust it. Because Bitwarden is open source, we know exactly how they do what they do to encrypt your passwords, and we know it's good. Now... LastPass and 1Password and Dashlane and all the others, RoboForum and all the others, pretty much do the same thing. They all encrypt your password vault, but to a greater or lesser degree, and there are some, you know, gradations, some differences. They all pretty much use AES-256 and something called PBKDF2 for the hashes. Now, this all comes up and is important because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, just before Christmas... LastPass revealed that they had lost control of the vaults. These are the encrypted blobs with our passwords in them. And I feel a little responsible because LastPass was a sponsor for many years. And I know a lot of you are using LastPass because I said they were safe. And it, it, at the time, I believed, fully believed they were safe. The question is, should you stay on LastPass? And the answer is not completely black and white. There, there was somebody in the chat room earlier who said, well, I'm on LastPass. Uh... It was hard enough to get my family to move to right. it. Any password manager is better than none. Even not a great one is better than no password manager. Because what happens if you don't have something keeping track of your passwords, you tend to reuse passwords, use easy to remember passwords. Easy to remember means easy to crack. So you're gonna, your password hygiene won't be very good unless you're using a password manager, which generates long, strong impossible to remember passwords, but you don't have to remember them because the password manager remembers them. But there is always this risk when you're using a password manager that it might get hacked and that somebody's going to get your vault. Now, that vault is encrypted. Without your master password, a bad guy cannot open it. So the real question for LastPass users at this point is, how much danger am I in? And again, still better to have LastPass than nothing. But it is problematic if you had a vault on LastPass and that vault now is in the hands of bad guys. They have, at their leisure, they have all the time in the world to run brute force password cracking software and they're going to attack these vaults. Worse, LastPass did make a poor choice. They didn't encrypt some what we call metadata, things like your name, your address, and most importantly, the list of sites you visit and have a password for. Those are in the clear which means bad guys can prioritize which password vaults they want to break. They can look at what sites are in there. It gives them some information about what you've got in this encrypted blob and whether it's worth attacking. There's a, a, another question that a number have asked me. Uh, I used two-factor with LastPass. Does that mean it's going to be harder for the bad guy to crack it? Unfortunately, I asked Steve Gibson this. He said, no. The two-factor is for your use when you're unlocking it on your computer. But if they have the vault, they won't need the two-factor to get into the vault. So all they need to do is crack your master password. Are you at risk? Yes, if you don't have a good master password. And this is the problem. That's the one you have to remember. So people tend to use something they can remember. Don't use monkey123. It needs to be long. It needs to be hard to remember. Uh, you're going to memorize it, but it shouldn't be, it should look random at least, okay? There's one other thing, and I'm going to show you this. So I uh, I no longer, I'm 
grateful because I got rid of LastPass a couple of years ago, replaced it with Bitwarden, our sponsor. And after a period of time, about six months, I said, okay, I can now delete my vault. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that my vault is in that thing that the bad guys got. But you know, you don't know because LastPass hasn't told us wh what vaults, when. Are they vaults from a year ago? or they Because they're back. They said that LastPass did say it was a backup. When was the backup done? Was it done last month? Was it done a year ago? If it was done two years ago, my vault's in it. And by the way, all my passwords, which I have not changed, are in it. So that is something to really be concerned about. There's a If you're going to stay with LastPass, there is something I strongly recommend you do. I'm going to go into the uh, LastPass interface uh, right now. Um, I've set up a dummy account. As I said, I no longer have a, a LastPass account. But I'm going to go into the account settings on LastPass, which is actually uh, in the in the browser. And you see I have a few things set up here. But let's go into our account settings. And we're going to go to the advanced settings. Remember I mentioned there's two things going on with the encryption. There's AES-256, but the passwords are hashed using something called PBKDF2. And they do something quite clever. They run that hashing algorithm many, many times. Leo, you, could I ask you, for folks who might not know, what does it mean when you say hash? So you don't want to obviously store anything in plain English. Uh, you, it's, what, it's, a, it's a form of encryption, and it's a one-way encryption. So one of the ways sites work when you enter in a password on a site is they don't need the password. They need the hash. That is a, a number that they created that if it met, and then they take your password that you entered, the text you entered, they hash it again. And if the hashes match, they know, oh, that's him. Mm -hmm. LastPass does the same thing. It doesn't actually have your master password, but it does have a hash. Of the master password. So the question is, how many iterations did they use when they made that hash? In early days of LastPass, it was 5,000. In modern, you know, here we are 10 years later, the modern times, a GPU-based password cracker can burn through that quickly. 5,000 is not enough. A few years ago, LastPass, and you can see on my screen, went to 100,100 iterations. If your password vault has that number, you're good. If it had 5,000, you're even at a greater risk. So this is really important. Can you turn that up? You sure can. You can make it as high as you want. What's the disadvantage of it? The bigger it is, the slower it will be when you first log into your account and especially a problematic on a mobile device with its slower processor. But I think, uh, as you said, OWASP says, what, 300,000 yes. iterations? Three times what LastPass is using. That's fine. Set it high. If you're going to keep using LastPass, set it high. The problem is, again, we don't know. Oh, I got to enter monkey123. I like that uh, they'll show how much it would cost a, a cracker to do this based on, you know, the energy usage and things like that. Um, this is OWASP? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so at just at 4,300, or rather, um, depending on the generation scheme, it can cost $4,300 up to, uh, as, as you have looked at, you know, $1 million. You want it to, to cost a lot because... The, the the more, when they say cost, they really mean how much energy, how much time. Mm -hmm. The harder it is to get that vault, the less likely they're going to crack it. So turn up your iterations. If you're going to steal, actually, this is true on any password vault, but turn those up. Oh, they all use PBKDF2. Actually, one doesn't. Dashlane doesn't. They use another one that's actually probably better, but a little slower called Argon2. Mm. Um, if you're going to keep using LastPass, at, at least turn that up. The problem is that's not going to change anything in your vault, that, that that old vault, that backup vault that the bad guys now have. It's whatever it was set at the time. And I've heard from many people who said, I looked, and you know what? It's still 5,000. That means that backup is 5,000. That means you're at risk. So what should you do? At the very least, you should go in and change the passwords of your most important accounts, your banking credit cards, anything where there's money involved, those are the things that hackers want. Change those passwords to a better password, a long, strong password manager generated password, okay? And turn on two-factor. If you have an important account that does not have two-factor, that's the first thing you should change. Two-factor does protect you against the bad guys stealing your stuff. Doesn't protect them against getting into the vault. But even if they get in the vault, they get your password. They still don't have that second factor. That's good. So that's why you should always use two factor. And 
if you're going to, you know, if you if you think you were in this breach and anybody used LastPass, I think was, uh, you should change those most important passwords. Should you move off LastPass? That's a little more nuanced. Again, it's better to be on LastPass than nothing, but it's very easy to move. Let me show you how easy it is actually to move. Uh, and what should you move to? Well, Lynn was asking about Bitwarden. I like Bitwarden. They are a sponsor, but I, beyond that, I used them before they were a sponsor. They're open source. I think that is an advantage. Open source means more secure. Uh, but 1Password is very good. Uh, RoboForm is very good. What are, you, what are you doing? You show me a, a gesture. I think celebrating. Celebrating. Bitwarden. Is yeah. he celebrating Bitwarden? We're thrilled that they're a sponsor. Uh, because, uh, but ag but again, this is it's also a little bit on you. You got to use a good master password. You got to use two factor, and you got to make sure that those iterations are turned up. Here's my account, uh, my LastPass account, and you see I have not only passwords in here, but as I've done with most password vaults, I have credit cards in there, and I have a, a driver's license. You might have a passport or social security numbers in there. All of that is really important. Can you export it? Yes. All password managers allow you to do this. And it's going to want the master password. Uh, do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah, what is it? It's capital I, it, what? I know now. Okay, good. It's not an important password because it's not a real account. But uh, we still are probably good, shouldn't. My battery is running low. Well, <laughs> we let's can't see. log you in. Your that means really that means the show is over, right? When the battery dies. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> I had to. I actually did this yesterday. I set up a whole thing. You know what they don't do that makes me mad? What's that? They don't have an option that I can show what I'm oh, typing. Right, that would be helpful. Yeah. That's by the way they do those dots in case somebody like Mike is looking over your shoulder, but I need to see what I'm typing. <laughs> are you a, are you not a touch typer? I am, but uh, I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> <sighs> Don't forget the zero. Zero. Let's see if this one works. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Thank boom. God. Boom. Boom. Now I've downloaded it. And it's a CSV file. That stands for comma separated values. Let's open that up. This is not encrypted. Okay. This, let me say that again. This is not encrypted. So very importantly, you're going to delete this file. As soon as you're done with as it. As soon as you're done with it. Because you see it has in here my password, monkey123. Monkey123. It's not real, kids. So that is... CSV, comma separated file, can be read in by almost any any password manager I've seen, Bitwarden, LastPass, whatever. You can import that in. Now, there is one thing to note. Uh, it did take uh, everything except for... Oh. Yeah. I have a binary image in my notes. I have actually uh, a picture of my driver's license in here. Did that come through? No. So if you have any images, those don't get translated in comma separated values, okay? So you'll all, but what you get is your passwords. So here's my suggestion, what I would do. If, if you're still using LastPass, I would get off of it. The fact that LastPass has not been very forthcoming in all of this is really concerning. Mm -hmm. Time to get off of it. Uh, I, I think there's also a larger concern. This is such a black mark uh, on their record. I wonder what's going to happen to the company going forward at some point. Uh, if they're not making money, are they going to turn off the servers? What's going to happen? So it's time. <coughs> so you're going to move to another password manager. I don't care what you move to. Uh, they're all good. I, I would say the... <coughs> excuse me. I would say the, the three top choices would be uh, the, the, the number one password manager in my book, Bitwarden, but last uh, one password is very good and Dashlane is very good. There are others. There's open source choices like KeePass and stuff. That's fine if you feel comfortable with that. But I would pick one of the top three. I'd pick Bitwarden, frankly. That's what I did pick. Uh, that's what Steve Gibson picked, by the way, as well. Again, Lynn, open source, good, not bad. Open source, good. 
Once you move it in there, you're moved on all those old passwords, mm -hmm. right? In fact, this is the first step. Don't do it. Don't change the passwords in LastPass if you're moving off of LastPass. We don't know what's going on. Get it out of LastPass. You probably should delete that vault at some point. Maybe don't do it right away. Make sure every, you got everything you want. Exactly. If they're binary images, for instance, like my driver's license image, you're going to save that out separately and then add it to your Bitwarden, things like that. But move that stuff over. And then in the new password manager, go change those passwords. And again, the priority is important passwords, money-related passwords that don't have two-factor. Very important. Do those right away. Did you hear that? Change the passwords. Change the passwords. Really important because we don't know at what point will those pass will the bad guy finally get into those vaults and start using those passwords. If it's if there's money involved, change that first. If there's no two factor, if there's two factor, you can take a little more time, but get the money ones first. Credit cards, bank accounts, that kind of stuff. Then you can slowly go through the other ones. Honestly, I don't care if a bad guy steals my New York Times account, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Really needed to read the news. So just <laughs> I'm not going to worry about know. that. Anyway, Lynn, great question. I thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Ask the tech guys at twit.tv. Um, I think the time is uh, now. The to time has come. To move on. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And uh, LastPass, I, I feel bad about it. Uh, remember, they got acquired first by Log Me In, which then uh, got sold to an equity uh, capital company. That's always a bad sign. Those guys try to extract money. They load up a lot of debt to buy something. Then they need to pay off, pay off that debt service. So that's usually a bad sign. It's my guess that's when things started to go south, that they started to focus more on the, on the profits and less on the security. In any event, they have now spun out LastPass into a standalone company. I don't know what the future holds for that company. I think it is time to move. I apologize for getting you on LastPass. Uh, but at the time, we thought it was safe. Uh, and there's still this risk, you know? Somebody asked a good question that I hadn't considered. The way that we were seeing when you export the vault, it doesn't have those images in there. But do the vaults that were stored with LastPass actually have the images? Yeah. So then, yeah, your driver's license in that instance would be Yeah, your social security, able to get. your passport, your driver's license. Bad guy has all of that. Good luck changing your social. Not easy. Ooh. You can, but it's not easy. He also, by the way, or she has uh, your name, address, your birth date, all the stuff that you gave LastPass that LastPass didn't encrypt. It's just awful. It's awful. Uh, it, it's pretty bad. It's about as bad as it can get. That You had one job, LastPass. <laughs> it's as bad as it can get. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Since 2021, ACI Learning has won the EC Council Training Center of the Year Award for North America. This prestigious award highlights the best training centers around the world, making a positive impact on their students. Visit acilearning.com and let ACI level up your IT team.